I want to reflect on one ayah, a beautiful ayah in Surah Al-Aqib that we just recited earlier. فَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَهْدِيَهُ يَشْرَحْ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ وَمَنْ يُرِدَ أَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيْقًا حَرَجًا That whoever Allah wants to guide, that He wants that person to get hidayah, guidance, He will open up His chest, His heart, to receive that guidance, to receive Islam specifically, to receive the faith. And whoever Allah wants to misguide, وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا حَرَجًا Allah uses a specific term over here. I need to really play, uh, pay close attention to this. So let's talk about the first uh, thing that Allah talks about. That whoever Allah wants to guide, He will open up His chest for hidayah, for guidance, to receive the uh, to, to receive Islam. Not only Islam, but anything within the faith. To increase more in knowledge, to reach closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the, it's, it's the same thing that you can see that Allah, uh, that Allah uh, kind of asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Alam nashrah laka sadrah? Haven't we opened your chest, you know, um, you know, so that you may receive guidance and everything uh, within the faith? And another place, and Allah says in the Quran, فَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ لِرَبِّهِ Have we not opened your chest so that you may come back to the faith? And you know, receive this nur, this light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whoever Allah wants to guide, he will um, his heart, his chest will be open to receive this guidance, this Islam. And subhanAllah, surpri you know, surprisingly, Islam comes from salam, peace. So this person finds peace in the faith. He finds peace in the faith. So let's say you know, salah time comes, he feels irritated, agitated, because he cannot pray salah anymore. As soon as he's away from the Qur'an, he, he's not, you know, close to the Qur'an, it's been a while that he touched the Qur'an, he feels irritated in his heart. He wants that guidance in his heart. وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ يَجْعَلُ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا حَرَجًا And look, pay close attention to this, Allah uses specific terms over here. If Allah wants to misguide someone, What's gonna happen to him? يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ His heart will become ضَيِّق ضَيِّق in, in Arabic means very tight, narrow. It's like as if you know you are squished in a small corner. حَرَجَ Really difficult. You know sometimes when something is difficult for you, it's, it's, you know, it's hard for you, right? Like you don't wanna move forward with it. You, uh, you, know, you wanna give up. So a person, Islam becomes difficult for him. As soon as he hears about prayer, it itches. As soon as he's in the car, the Qur'an is playing, he's with his friends, family, he turns off the Qur'an. He's like, no, let's play something else, man. Let's play that jam. You know, Qur'an, you know, feels, you know, he feels itch whenever something to do with Islam is talked about, or is, you know, is mentioned. كَأَنَّمَا يَصَّعَدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ SubhanAllah, you see this time and time again within your own circle group, friends, you know, uh, families, or even, you know, people around you that you know. Not only that Islam becomes, you know, uh, you know, tight for him and difficult for him, but it's like as if he's climbing, you know, the stairs, like, you know, to reach the, uh, you know, up the skies. You know, it's like as if he's climbing to the sky. Basically, it's will be impossible for him to reach. It's like something that he will never be able to touch. That's how Allah makes the deen for him that he will never be able to get that openness in his heart to receive the peace and the faith in his heart. It becomes difficult. He will always find excuses. He will, Islam will be hard for him. He will constantly make excuses. And like this, Allah will make him full of filth. Rids is like filth. He will, that person is cursed. And he will not be guided. So may Allah subhanahu wa taala save us from these type of uh, you know um, uh, you know from you know from these type of diseases. May Allah open our hearts for the faith, for Islam, to receive the um, you know the love of Allah subhanahu wa taala, 
and you know, and to gain knowledge. And that is the reason why we should constantly say the dua of Musa, Rabbish Rahli Sadiri. Oh Allah, open my chest. Wayasirli Amri. Make my affairs easy. Wayasirli Amri. Wahlul Uqatam in Lisani Yafahu Qawri. Make it easy on my tongue. These, these duas are beautifully you know, mentioned in the Quran. We should, we should always learn it and say it. So that Allah don't make us from these type of people where our hearts are closed to receive guidance and we feel restricted and tight. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us and open our hearts for knowledge, true knowledge.